This is Eyewitness News. Now, Alan Leva, David Ono, Dallas Raines, and Rob Fukazaki with the Southland's number one news at five. Also still ahead, there's new details on the Mega Millions lawsuit. Is the game going away? And you're looking live outside. Are we clear of the wet weather? The live Doppler 7000 Plus and Dallas Range will have that forecast for you coming up next. And a group against gambling goes to court today. Find out what a judge said about their proposal to get your new Mega Millions game to go away. A group opposed to the expansion of gambling in California has filed a lawsuit against the state lottery for joining the multi-state Mega Millions game. Eyewitness News Sacramento Bureau Chief Nanette Miranda joins us live from the state lottery headquarters with more on today's hearing. Nanette? Well, Ellen, Mega Millions is a popular game in California. Through October, players bought 134 million tickets. And for now, a judge says you can keep playing. Everybody likes to have a dream. <laughs> Lynn Wolf bought a ticket to tonight's $12 million drawing. She's relieved she can continue to play Mega Millions for now, after a judge said today he needs at least three months to decide if the game's legal in California. I think for the government or anyone to be able to tell you what it is you can and cannot do, uh, or to take a right away that you've already been given, um, I think would be a true crime. Given the line of questioning Judge Lloyd Connolly had, the coalition of 10,000 churches that brought the lawsuit may hit the jackpot, and the state may be on the losing end of this gamble. He seemed critical of the lottery for joining the game without asking the legislature or the voters. I think our case is on our side, at this point, you see, is that the lottery commission acted both illegally and unconstitutionally in what they have done. The state has already invested heavily and continues to argue it didn't have to go to lawmakers over Mega Millions. It has spent $9 million of taxpayer money to launch the game last June. Plus, education would lose the one-third of sales if the game were to stop. We expect $150 million more per year to the state's public schools from Mega Millions. One thing both sides agree on is Mega Millions winners will keep their money no matter what the judge decides. If they win money, they would still have to honor, the commission would still have to honor those tickets up to the time a filing or an order is made by this court to stop the lottery. That's good news for players like Wolf who'll keep playing because of the lure of those big jackpots. You're taking that chance. Who doesn't like to take a chance? That's right, who doesn't? Now, two lucky tickets that were sold in California have hit two different Mega Millions jackpots. Both of them just happened last month. Live in Sacramento, Nanette Miranda, ABC7 Eyewitness News. David?